You're weak. You are failure. Look at everything you're going through. God clearly doesn't love you. You're true. All this pain. You might as well just give up. God has abandoned you. Where is your God? Hey, the office rent is due. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the night edition of 180, the show that looks to help you turn your life around with the word of God. Now, listen, first off, right off the bat, let me just say God is good all the time, all the time, okay? And all the time, God is good. Leave me alone! Is he? Yes, I am. can't be happening. Miriam. Here I am. Miriam, why do you question my goodness? I don't mean to question you, but what I see around me doesn't make sense. What is it that you see? Poverty and hunger at an all-time high. Crime and injustice are rampant. With all the evidence around me, how am I not to question your goodness? If you're all good, you cannot be all powerful. And if you're all powerful, you cannot be all good. How does a God that's all powerful and all good allow this to happen to humanity and not intervene? Huh. Choice. It all comes down to that. But there is so much choice that you're not taking into account. Who's? Mankind's. What choice do we have in the face of God? All of them. Man has had free will ever since the days of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve? I know all about the snake and the fruit. Do you really? Because if you did, you would know that it's not all about the snake or the fruit, but about choices and consequences. In the beginning, I created the heavens and the earth. Everything that I made, I saw as good. This includes man. Man was created in Imago Day, in my image. From the dust of the ground, man was formed and received life through my breath. And man wasn't alone, because from his rib I created Eve, his ideal help. In my sovereignty, I wanted mankind to be in a harmonious relationship with me, not from forceful will like a machine, but rather out of love 
And you cannot have love without choice. Again, what choice could they possibly have? You're the one that set the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You set the limitations. You set the rules. They could have chosen to trust me, to take me at my word. Instead, they trusted more in the words of someone who presented half-twisted truths and decided in that moment of disobedience that I and everything I offered them was simply not enough. Sadly, mankind has followed this very pattern over and over again and yet are somehow surprised by its outcome. You're right. I set the rules, and sin begets death, and death is separation. Because of sin, mankind was separated from me, and being that I am all-powerful, separation from that which is powerful leads to weakness, and being that I am all-good, separation from that which is good leads to wickedness. Man abandons its first love, and somehow blames me for giving them what they have continually asked for. So it's my fault? Everything that I've been through, all the loss, the hurt, the betrayal, I'm guilty, it's my fault. There it is. This has much less to do with what you see in the world and more to do with what you see in yours. Everything man has gone through has been a result of a choice that has been made. Not all that occurs is the result of one's own choice, but the consequence of another's. What you choose to do will affect not only your life, but the lives of those who love and look up to you. You know this very well. You've chosen to live life alone, separating yourself from those who love you, thinking that you have something to prove, that you can make it on your own, that you don't need anyone's help, all while hoping, deep down, that when you finally make it, you would win the love and affection of a man a man you loved and looked up to. This man was your world. Until one fateful night, by his choice, your world fell apart. A choice that would fuel every decision you would make from there on out. While you believe this man to be perfect, he was in fact broken. And in his brokenness, he chose what he thought was best for himself and broke your heart in the process. You're right, he did break my heart. You saw it all happen, but you did nothing. You sat back and did nothing. My child, did I? Why you focused on the pain of your loss? Who do you think gave your mother the strength to endure? Who gave her the guidance and provided her with everything she needed in order to raise you well? Who dried her every tear and sent angels as messengers to console her with my word while your words fueled with misdirected anger pierced her heart and left her every night worried? Who did she cry out to, begging for your safe return and in the morning, there you were, safe. Why do you think that is? It was you? It has always been me. While mankind chose to reject me and my word, I too made a choice well before the foundation of the world. I chose to love them. Despite their imperfection, their rejection and sin, I chose to love them. I chose to love you. I knew it was not good for man to be alone. It is not good for man to be without me, and so in my love, because of who I am, I made a way to bring you back to me. I sent my son. He who was innocent took the place of the guilty. He who was sinless suffered the punishment of sin. I showed my love for you, that while you were still a sinner, Christ died for you. Though man is undeserving, I decided to make a way to end separation and bring about reconciliation you are saved by grace through faith in jesus christ i'm so sorry with everything going on i don't know what to do miriam i stand at the door and knock it is up to you to open it hey the office rent is due ah uh, yeah, 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 yeah. welcome welcome one and all 
to the night edition of 180, the show that looks to help you turn your life around with the word of God. Now, listen, first off, right off the bat, let me just say God is good all the time, all the time. Okay. And all the time, God is good. Look, man, I know what you're probably thinking. It doesn't always feel that way. But we can't let ourselves be guided by what we feel. We have to let ourselves be guided by what we know to be true. And what we know to be true is God's word. And in his word, it lets us know that God is truly all good. And he is truly all powerful. He truly knows what is best for us. So in the midst of your circumstance tonight, make a choice. Choose to trust God. Choose to cast your anxieties onto him because he cares for you. Trust him today. Lord, I'm opening the door to you. Mom? Mija! What are you doing here? A mother always knows when a child needs her, no matter how old you get or how far you go, you're always gonna be my baby. Now come on, let's go get something to eat. Um, I, I can't, I have to go talk to my landlord. Oh, that, that's already been taken care of. How? Let's just say, just like your mom didn't forget about you, neither has your church. Thank you. What's this? God is good. All the time.